Hi everyone, it's Tanya. Welcome or welcome back. And today I'm here to do my huge book haul for you. Because recently I got quite a few books because of the sales on Book Depository. Like, I, I am terrible with sales. Like, if I see a sale for a book that I really like, I'm just like, I need to get it. I need to get it because what if later I will not be able to buy that book for as cheap as it is now. Quite a few books arrived recently to my house and I thought I might as well show them to you. <laughs> but I I really need to stop. I need to stop buying them. <laughs> but that's a problem for the future. For now we have a book haul. The first book that I want to show you is The Dubliners by James Joyce and well of course I got this book because of its cover <laughs> this cover is stunning and also they have pictures on the back like a comics style also it has duckled edges and it is beautiful also classics so I decided to read classics recently to educate myself you know in history and just literature in general because I haven't read that much that much classics from like other countries than Russia and I really I really really like it so the next book that I received because I was in a dragon mood <laughs> I really just I really wanted to read books about dragons so I ordered a few and the first of them is Tooth and Claw by Joe Joe Walton and apparently it's like a pride and prejudice but in a dragon world <laughs> which sounds so interesting like I I heard quite a few people praise this book relatable to humans but those are dragons and I am like oh that sounds cool so this is my first dragon book that I am excited about also I got another dragon book and this dragon book is Seraphina Seraphina by Rachel Hartman I honestly don't know anything about the book I don't remember the synopsis and I don't want to read because I prefer going into books like without knowing much because sometimes synopsis they just throw in everything or they reveal too much so don't know much but I like the cover and um, dragons yes I want to read books about dragons so this is my other dragon book also recently I've been a big fan of Ursula K. Le Guin and I read one of her book, which is The World Who World is Forest. I talked about it already quite a few times on my channel, but I really, really loved that book. Also, now I am reading The Left Hand of Darkness, also by her, and I'm really also enjoying it, loving it so much. I feel, I think she was such a brilliant woman. Like, if I was just a small, tiniest part as smart and intelligent as she was i would be perfectly satisfied with myself <laughs> i feel like she was a brilliant woman so i ordered two more books by her these are collections of her short stories which i am excited about another book that i also ordered actually because of booktube because i saw a few people talk about it on booktube and i thought like it sounds really interesting and this is the convenience store by Sayaka Murata and this is a very short book so it's not long it's like 100 something pages but it has a very interesting protagonist like from what I heard on booktube so it's it's a woman she's in her late 30s I think and she doesn't have a husband she doesn't have like a family she's a very introverted person I guess but she she works in this like convenience store and she really really likes it because she likes the structure you know she likes the repetitiveness of her Rep is it the word repeatedness repetitiveness repetitiveness hmm what's the word she's just used to her convenience store and she really likes working there and other people don't really understand her they advise her to do something else to really like push her to do something more and she just wants to be left alone <laughs> she wants to be left alone in her convenience store and I don't know much more but I really want to read because she sounds like a really interesting and like a very different protagonist you know so yeah that's another book that I'm very excited about one more book I, uh, this book is going to be my introduction to 
Margaret Artwood. So this is the Penelopeat. It's her retelling of the Iliad by Homer. And, but this book is told from the perspective of Penelope, Penelope, Penelope wife of Odyssey. Don't know much more, but yeah, I really want to start reading books by Margaret Artwood and I thought that it would be a good place to start. So it's going to be my first book by her. Another book that I recently received is the Akatovich. Akatovich by Neji Okora. Okora 4. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this name, but it's this woman. <laughs> and in this book, actually, I saw Ursula K. Le Guin actually recommend this book on like on some website. She said like it's very imaginative and it's like a very rich fantasy. And I'm like, hmm, if she recommends it, I will read it. <laughs> I'm because I love her books and yeah, she must have really good taste, you know? <laughs> so I ordered this book and I am also very excited to read it. Also really like the cover. Yes, it's like African culture inspired story of like magic and also magic school and like children learning magic. <laughs> very interesting, like Harry Potter, but in Africa, maybe. We will see, <laughs> but maybe not like Harry Potter, but you know, school, magical school in Africa. Sounds brilliant. Also, another book. I have, I have, I don't even know what to show you because I have so many. Okay, so I will show you this one. This is the Fugitive Pieces, Pieces by Anne Michaels, and this is a story of like after Second World War kind of times. So there is this boy who is a refugee, and he got, he is an orphan. He's I think his parents have died or something happened to them and so another guy another man he just starts taking care of him and it's like a story of love and family and support and all the wonderful wonderful things that should be in everybody's life and I like such stories I like reading stories when people support each other and people help each other and like you know uplifting stories and also hopeful stories so I hope that this book will be that and also I really like the cover I really like all the books from the series I want to collect maybe not all of them because I'm not interested in all of them but a few of them I want to collect I already have uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell so Norrell 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 and this fugitive species and then I will order something more so I'm very excited when I have my collection but I think it's enough I will definitely make a video about that but I think these books are beautiful so another book that I have is also a short one so this one is so far from the bamboo grove and it's by Yoko Kawashima Watsuki, Watskins so it's a Japanese author I'm in Japan I want to read more Japanese literature also and it's also a very short read, like, I don't know how many pages, it's like almost 200 pages, but it's a story of a Japanese family have been living in Korea during Japanese occupation of Korea, and then after the Second World War they had to leave because, well, Japan didn't occupy Korea anymore, <laughs> and they had to leave and go to Japan, and this girl, she doesn't really know anything about Japan because she always lived in Korea even though she comes from a Japanese family and it's like her struggles and yeah I guess it's just like a recount of somebody's life uh, at that time period which I'm interested in so sounds good and I am also really in love with the cover and just the book also so another book that I actually received really recently is this one and it's I'm going to read it very soon because Christmas and this is by J.R.R. Tolkien and I feel like not many people talk about this book I actually I saw it on YouTube also someone recommended it on booktube and I decided to buy this book because of that video uh, but it's basically so Tolkien wrote letters to his son but from like those letters came from a uh, is he? Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, from Santa Claus. And I really like this book. So it has the, it has pictures and drawings and it has like handwritten letters 
can you see and i am so like look so they have like pictures of all the letters and i really really like it and i'm going to read it before christmas to get myself into christmas mood because I am Russian and I am not used to Christmas without snow. Like if there is no snow, it's not winter for me. Like in my mind, it's like September. <laughs> because we start having snow in like end of October, sometimes middle of October, sometimes beginning of October to be honest. But you know, for me, winter starts really early and all the time that I have been living in Korea, I just didn't feel that it was winter. I always felt that it was fall. And that's why I just, I could, I never could get myself into the Christmas mood. No matter how many Christmas movies I watch, no matter how many Christmas advertisements and decorations. I, if there is no snow, there is no Christmas for me, there is no New Year for me. I just don't feel it, you know? So I hope maybe this little bit, this book will be able to help me because I really miss the like, the spirit of New Year in Russia. We don't really celebrate Christmas that much. We celebrate more New Year. So I really want to get into that mood. <laughs> I need to do something. So I hope this book will be my first step, and we will see how it works out later. So next book is Lily Willowers, and this book is a story about a witch. And I don't know more, but apparently it's like a funny, quirky story about a witch. Yeah, sounds also very... I'm very excited because, yeah, I like uplifting books. And if it's a story about a witch, I'm all in for it. Two more classic classics that I ordered. So the first one being The Bleak House. Bleak House by Charles Dickens. I am a little bit intimidated by this book because it is quite chunky. It has like 800 or how many? How many pages? Mm -hmm. 1000. Oh, yeah, it has almost 1000 pages, but the edition is very beautiful. And yeah, classics. I need to read more classics, even though like old English classics are really hard sometimes for me to read because of the language and it's sometimes I have to check quite a few words like in the dictionary <laughs> it makes it slower for me to finish the book but you know you need to do it so excited about this book another classic that I ordered is Bright Sheet, Bright Sheet Revisited by Evelyn Bo and this is a story of like after like life in I think America after the first world war and so this is the time period that I don't really know much about and like I am in my head it just related to jazz like if you tell me like America 30s America like the 30s or America like yeah late 20s it immediately like jazz <laughs> in my head even though maybe not <laughs> like i honestly don't know when the jazz was invented but i don't know it's just it's just in my head so it's just beca just because of the spirit because i really like jazz music i want to read this book but maybe i will learn that it's not actually related to anything like that but you know i just i have the most different and stupid sometimes reason for buying books a few more books <laughs> so the first one is being tiagana tiagana by guy Gavri gavriel k again i'm not sure about pronunciation of the name but sorry <laughs> um so this is a high fantasy novel which I also don't know much about, but apparently this author is quite famous. Of course, I didn't know about him, but it's gonna be my first book by him, and I hope I will love it. One more book about dragon, and this is a middle grade novel, to be honest, but uh, yes, dragons. I'm in the mood for dragons. And this is Dealing with Dragons by Patricia C. Reed, and apparently this is a story about a princess who is bored <laughs> a bored princess and she just runs away 
from her king kingdom, from her castle, to live with dragons. Like, what more do you need from a middle grade fantasy? <laughs> a bored princess. <laughs> I, I really like the synopsis. She was bored and she ran away from her kingdom. <laughs> Sounds really fun. So, I love middle grade, I love dragons, and I love bored princesses <laughs> who do stupid things. So, that's my another read. One more book. This is a really short one. I didn't expect it to be so short. It's like like 100 pages. I think I can read it in one sitting. But I bought it because of this beast on this cover. I love books about different beasts and like people's relationships with them. Like not only dragons. I also recently read a book like a Japanese fantasy. It's called Beast Player by Naoko Ihashi. Oh, this is another one. It looks like she like Loch Ness monster to me. <laughs> Blurb doesn't say much. It only says that the story begins with an egg that hatches. <laughs> and then the thing that was inside of the egg sets in motion an unforgettable journey. <laughs> so basically, um, yeah, I bought this book because of this monster, because I like books about monsters. And the last book that I want to show you is also a book about dragons. And this is the Temi, Temirer. Temirer? How do you pronounce this? Temirer? Te Temirer? Temirer? <laughs> so this book with, um, by Naomi, no Naomi Novik. And this is like a recount of Napoleon Wars, but with dragons. <laughs> and it sounds so, so cool. Napoleon and dragons together like it sounds brilliant so i definitely i'm so excited so yeah these are my books don't know how many something like around 18 maybe a few more on the way <laughs> but the last ones the last ones no more book depository no more <laughs> I mean, until i finish these books and then i will buy later some more but first i need to read at least like the biggest part of this because i just I feel so ashamed, like, receiving books when I haven't read so many. So, yes. These are my books that I wanted to show you. Thank you so much for watching. If you read any of them, please let me know in the comments. If you liked them, what did you think about them? If you have any dragon book recommendations or witch book recommendations, also please do leave them in the comments because I am in the witchy dragonish mood <laughs> right now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you soon in the next videos. Thank you. Bye.